you have a swimming pool pump that you run four hours per day. Let's look at what you might be realizing in terms of flow rates and also how much it's costing you in terms of electrical consumption. Now, this is just an example and the, the actual numbers that you would experience on your swimming pool will be different than this, but this is just to give us a working number uh, that we can examine a little closer. So we're gonna go up to maximum speed here, 3,450 RPM. This pump is currently operating on inch and a half plumbing only on the inlet and outlet. As you can see, the pump is drawing just under 10 amps momentarily and approximately 2.23 or 2.24 kilowatt hours. If we were to run this pump for an hour like this, then you would have used approximately 2.23 or 2.24 kilowatts of power. Now let's take a look at the flow rate here. The flow rate looks to be just a shade over 80 gallons per minute on this particular installation. Okay, so we've learned some information from that already that we can examine. So let's say that that's what you did. You had a single speed pump and you just ran it four hours a day and you only ran it on full speed because it's only got one speed. It's actually going to be less efficient than this pump that we were just examining here but just for argument's sake we'll just say that it's equal so it was using 2.24 kilowatt hours of electricity and you want to use that for four hours a day so we would do 2.24 times four hours a day and we have 8.96 and that's how much you're going to use in a 24 hour period. Like really you're only running it for four hours, but every day you're gonna be using 8.96 kilowatt hours of power. So what does that mean to you and your electricity bill? Well, the nationwide average is 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So again, we just take that 8.96 number, times it by 13 cents, and you have $1 in 16 cents approximately and that's how much it costs you to run your pump for four hours now during that time period we were seeing approximately 82 gallons per minute so we would take 82 gallons per minute and times that by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour that gives us 4920 now you are running it for four hours so that will give you 19,680, and that's how many gallons you were able to, to move in the four hour period that you were running the pump. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.